Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn the solo to Hey Joe by Jimi Hendrix. So I hope that you guys have checked out the, uh, the chord video and all that stuff so you know how to play the rest of the song and now it's time for the solo. And uh, we're in standard tuning still and we're going to be living up here in this little E minor pentatonic most of the time. So let's start here with this first phrase. It sounds like this. All right, bending at the 15th fret on the B string, pulse up, and then 12th fret on the high E string, then work our way through that pentatonic scale, then 15, 12 on the B, to the 14th fret on the G, whole step, bend and release, to the 12th fret on the G, hit twice. Next phrase. All right, so that starts again with a uh, bend at the 15th fret of the B. Same, start going with the same way down. Then when we get to that 14th fret on the G, we're gonna do the bend into the 12th fret on the B string. Then back to that 14th fret on the G. Then 12, 14, 12 on the G. to the 14th fret on the D string. Then, after you pause a little bit there, you're gonna do that 12 on the G to 14 on the D, back to 12 on the G. So all together. All right, so you kind of slide down after that last note and then slide back up to the 14th fret on the fifth fret, uh, on the fifth string, sorry. Then 12, 14 on the D. Then we have the 12, the little double stop here, the 12th fret on the G and the B. And when you play that, it can be slightly, just kind of slightly pull it towards the floor. All right. So we have this. All right, then we have a couple of bends here. So the first one is kind of cut short and then then a full bend again and then we had this next phrase after that all right so we have double stops on the top starting that lick 12 on the B and a high E string then 15 12 on the B then another whole step bend there at the 14th fret on the G back to 12 15 on the B Then you do the bend at the G again on the 14th fret. Back to the 12 on the B. And you're gonna come over to the D string real quick and hammer on 12 to 14. Then roll your finger over to the 14th on the G and then 12 on the G. So that whole phrase. All right, next phrase. All right, so we have a bend at the 14th fret on the G again, into a roll from the 12th fret on the B to the high E. Holst that bend and release at the 15th fret on the high E string. All right, then back to the 12 on the high E string, and then you can do a, a kind of a sustained bend there at the 14th fret on the G. Then we do another roll across the B to the high E of the 12th fret. Then the 15th fret on the B string. So 15 on the B now. Quick bend to the 14th on the G. And then hold the 12th fret there on the G string. Stand a little bit then the 14th fret on the D. So all together. All right, next lick kind of ends the solo. All right, so he's sliding into the 16th fret on the A string, then 14, 16 on the 
uh, D string. Then jump back here to the two twelves on the B and the G. But then you're gonna end it with the fourteenth fret on the D string there. Then you goes just a couple of slides up and down, just the, the sixth string, not really picking anything. And he goes into that little bass line. All right, so that little line there that ends the solo, the solo section is third fret on the A string, open E, one, two, three, on the low E. Then two, three, four, five on the A. Then the same thing on the low E. Then up here to the fourth fret on the A string, four, five, six, and when you get to the seven, you just, we're up here to that kind of E power chord, which is just like the, kind of the chord we were doing before, uh, a version of it, we could have, we just have uh, the seventh fret on the A string, ninth on the D and the G, and then lift up that ninth fret to just do sevens on the two middle strings. And then you kind of hear it. This might just be the bass guitar. It's just that same lick we did in the first video. So we have. All right, so that's about it. Obviously, it's a classic Hendrix solo, and everybody's got to know it. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye bye.